This is the walking pole, which is a very different design to all other walking poles that I've used. And as you can see, it comes in these separate sections here, which are all joined together rather like a modern tent. Unfortunately, there are no instructions supplied, and I think this is probably the downfall of the product because some people are not going to realise exactly how it goes together. In fact, I'm one of them. But what you do is you start at the bottom, the section with the basket on, put that section into the next one up. Then, this is the section that's got the paper label on for the moment, that's the second section. So, all very easy and straightforward so far. But now, this is the key section. What you need to do is get this section with the silver band and pull this up. So you're exposing now a third pole with this pattern section on it. And then pull it right up, because if you don't, it's just going to fall in again. And you'll end up with these sections dangling. So pull up this post all the way. Now exposing this third pattern section and then when you get to the top you need to force it a bit but this is key now what you need to do is force it and out will pop this brass lug now if you don't get to the stage of exposing this brass lug it's all going to slide down again so make sure you pull it so this brass lug is exposed and that now holds everything in place without that the pole doesn't work I really think this should be emphasised on instructions and some instructions provided, which at the moment they're not. So having got to that stage, now it's the easy bit again. Undo this quick release clip, extend the pole to the, your chosen height and then lock it into place. And this is the pole assembled. It's got this nice foam grip here which is really comfortable to hold. The quick release clip, the different heights, and then the pole itself. And you can put a lot of weight onto this. It's quite strong and it's very, very lightweight as well. I can literally almost pick it up with my little finger. It is so light. And then when it comes to taking it down again, you just do everything in reverse. Start at the top end and bring that down. And now here at the second section with this key brass lug, which I can't overemphasize enough, press that in. Now this is a bit more fiddly if you've got cold hands, which are not quite so nimble. So this is one reason why I'm not that keen on this method. And press it in and push it down. Then take out the second section and the lower section and then if you want you can fold it all back up again with this nice velcro strap so to demonstrate again how to put it together because this is very important pop the bottom end in then the middle section then push this silver collared section up this is the critical bit to expose this brass lug and then you're well aware you can just do the final adjustment on the section with the measurements and again to bring it down open the quick release clip and I suggest leave it open while you do the brass section because otherwise it becomes very tight and it's even more fiddly push that section in pull out the top section and then release the lower section and you can fasten it all together by the velcro straps and it makes it a nice neat compact bundle so it's very good in many ways in my opinion it works well it's strong it's lightweight i'm just not that keen on this mechanism for holding it in place with the brass section but that comes down to personal preference and in every other way i'm really impressed with it so make your own choice <laughs>